My name is uh, Professor Mark Hayter. My uh, contribution as a researcher is something I'm particularly proud of. I was inducted into the International Nurse Researcher Hall of Fame by Sigma this year and absolutely right up there at the pinnacle of things that I want to achieve uh, in my career. It's in recognition of my contribution to nursing across the piece, not just through research, but also my work around teaching, but also my research around mentoring new researchers. I got into nursing for a number of reasons. The obvious one is I wanted to help people, but I also see, saw it as a, a, as a significant professional career that would allow me to, to develop uh, as a person, but also as a clinician and then later as a researcher. And I always make the point that when people ask me about my career, that careers very often happen by happenstance, being in the right place at the right time and almost by accident. Uh, I, I never believe anybody if they say where they are now is exactly where they planned to be 30 years ago. The thing that uh, occurred to me that, that primarily led to where I am here today was my early involvement in uh, caring for patients with HIV and AIDS. But it was a very frightening time. Uh, we didn't know much about this disease. There was an awful lot of misunderstanding and, and anxiety. And obviously when I started to work with those patients, uh, there was very little treatment we could offer. But that experience that I gained allowed me to start my teaching career because the, uh, the nursing college that was attached to my hospital wanted someone to teach the students, uh, not just nursing students, but all medical students, nursing students, midwifery students, about AIDS. And they wanted someone to come in with clinical experience. So eventually an opportunity arose for me to move into teaching uh, substantially to deliver uh, programs around uh, the care and management of people with HIV and AIDS. So that then led me uh, into developing a broader sexual health research career. So it was really that, that circumstances of the epidemic, developing a skill set that was, was relatively rare, certainly in the UK at that time, which then opened doors for me. Uh, and then I like to think I, I, I maximised that. I've been in, involved in the graduate training of probably thousands and thousands of, of nurses who've gone on to work uh, in nursing all over the world and I like to think that my contribution to that is moving uh, into the quality care that they give their patients but also the desire for nursing, the recognition of nursing, how important it is and also the, the confidence to grow their career. It's, I think, one of the things that makes this role very, very pleasant and very fulfilling is that the way in which we can help disseminate high quality nursing research to a global uh, readership of nurses. Our uh, journal is accessed and papers are downloaded from just about every country there is in the world. And I think that's probably, you know, the most substantial impact I will probably make on global nursing is through my leadership and stewardship of that journal and my responsibility as editor-in-chief is making sure that we maintain the quality of the research that we publish. That's incredibly important, of course, because we're publishing research that clinicians will use in clinical practice with real live patients and populations and communities. So that's a responsibility, but it's also a privilege.